what's up you guys your girl is back with another wash day recap i got my goodies here and oh yeah we got a banger alert let's get into it okay so boom this wash day started off very different than my traditional wash days because i was coming from super shrunken tangled hair if you don't know what i'm talking about go ahead watch my last video where i talk about how i wore my hair out for my beach vacation Anywho, you know I had to go in with some strong reinforcements for my pre-shampoo, so it was good old faithful African pride. Moving on to shampoo, y'all should already know what it is by now. Moment of silence for Bay. And now for deep conditioner, I went back in with Mish Indulge. Not gonna lie, Miss Mish is inching her way to the number one spot for my moisturizing deep conditioner because baby, I keep reaching for it. In my previous videos, I've said that the Nature's Little Secret Rose Hydrating Deep Conditioner was my go-to for moisture, but guys, I realized there is a difference between moisture and hydration, and I notice it in my strands. In my experience, hydrated curls feel super juicy and full of water, whereas moisturized curls feel a little less full of water, but there's a coating over top of them. And this coating I'm talking about is something I find myself looking forward to every wash day, hence why I keep reaching for niche. So I'm excited to try a new deep conditioner from Nature's Little Secret that's gonna be focused on moisture, but I think the rose hydrating one is kind of falling to the background. Moving on. On to leave-in conditioner. If you've been watching some videos on our channel, you'd know I ranted and raved about Aunt Jackie's Hydrate Me. I really do love it, but one thing that I'm noticing is if I don't use enough water upon application, some of it starts to just sit on my strands because I have fine hair. So I kind of wanted a break from that and I didn't want it to interfere with my new banger alert product that I'm gonna be talking about in just a moment. So I went in with my trusty old TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. I decided to reach for this leave-in before trying a new product because it's just lightweight and I don't have to worry about if I'm using too much or not enough water while styling. Of course, you guys know I had to follow that up with my favorite serum, coat my ends and get them together. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, this was a banger. Let's get into it. This is the Talia Wajid Green Apple and Aloe with Coconut Nutrition Curl Definer. Chef's kiss, I'm so excited to talk about this. Let me point out some key ingredients that got me excited to try this product. Of course, we got water, aloe leaf juice, shea butter, satiro alcohol, coconut oil, castor oil. I mean, come on, it's giving. But the thing that I really liked about this upon application was that it's light on the hair. You can feel a coating, but it's not too heavy like your traditional castor oil would be or your raw shea butter right on the strands. So it strikes a nice balance or struck a nice balance <laughs> between having those heavier oils that would be kind of too heavy for my hair if it was in its raw form and a sort of lightweight, buildable, definer coating on my strands. Like, it was just bae, I loved it. Did it define my curls? 100%. Did it coat my curls, make them feel nice and moisturized? 100%. Do I love it? 100%. I'm very excited about this product. I feel like it's gonna be great for summertime use or wintertime use. So I'm looking forward to trying it as I go into the different holidays. If I lean in, oh my gosh, first of all, let me put y'all on game. This is a curl refresh. My hair looked like this on the first day when I first used it, but this is a curl refresh. Like I re-moisturized my hair with some water, a little bit of the leave-in conditioner, and we brought her right back. Do I have a little shine? Clearly I'm excited. Let me spin it around so y'all can get what the back of my head is giving. Come on. Ma'am. There's really not much else to be said, honestly, guys. This was a banger. And the best part was I didn't even use that much. There's so much more to bless my hair. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching this Wash Day recap. I hope you enjoyed it. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe, all of those YouTube things down below, and I'll see you in my next video.